Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part 9 of Until Dawn. I'm Mandy, aka Manjo Bug the Gamer. And let's get a recap of previous parts. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. So have fun. Sorry, you do this! Jessica! Oh my god! Oh my god! Shit! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Alright, back to Mike again. Make sure I got this fixed. Which I'm sure I did, but I am hoping that the roof does not. Obviously, I guess I can. <laughs> was consequently the year my mom was born so that's pretty cool okay a framed photo of the group of miners rescued after a cave-in dated 1952 the plaque says that all 12 miners survived update there were 30 clocking in cards from the mine oh there's a bit of a discrepancy here let's see yeah, the update on the clocking in cards. The photograph only showed 12 survivors. So it sounds like I smell a cover up here. Okay, going through the sanatorium, but we need a little something different. Hey, it's locked. 
the hell? Who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Now we've got Matt and Emily. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Looking around. Don't mind me, Emily. There's something over here, see? I can get it. Paint. Hey. It's still fresh. I don't think I've ever discovered that. It's not a clue, but. I don't think I've ever seen that there. I don't remember it anyway. Looks like there's something else here. Totem. Oh. Why is it always poor Matt? There has been so many totems and it's always Matt. Another death totem. Oh, I guess I didn't miss one. Uh -huh. Ooh. Poor Matt. It's like the third one for him that shows the possible death for him. He is one of the hardest characters to keep alive. And I hope that's not really a spoiler, but it's it's not easy. Definitely not easy to keep him alive. And as evidenced by all the totems that <laughs> we are finding that show his possible deaths. It's kind of insane, really. Look! An axe! I feel better with an axe. How about we just sit at the bench and just chill out for a while? No? Damn. <laughs> Where's the axe that he was talking about? Ah, oh, duh. Just right in the door. Alright, we found that axe. Stuck into the door of the cable car station. It definitely wasn't there before. Well, I think you would have noticed. I think you would have noticed that. And there's the axe holder update. Matt and Emily found the axe down at the cable car station. So, somebody. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. If we start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? The window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Okay, we can either help Emily through or smash the door. Emily is not gonna appreciate if you force her to go through there alone. And that's kind of not very chivalrous. <laughs> but you know what? I want to okay, smash fine. the doors. Here goes. It doesn't I'm matter. Huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! Let's do it. He is a job. He shouldn't have any trouble with this. One more smash. Oh, he already tried. <laughs> Works like a charm. Oh. Damn. What happened? This is crazy. 
crazy. We were here just a few hours ago. This must have just happened. What the fuck is going on? It's got to be the guy, the, the one who, who got to Chris and Ash and Josh. He's got to know this is the only way back. Don't say that. <sighs> Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You, you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. But not that good. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. God, everything is, like, so busted up. Looks like his relationship status went up with Emily. I think they knew exactly yeah. what they were doing. Didn't force her to go in alone. That would be kind of messed up. That kind of reminds me of uh, the Telltale Games Walking Dead, where you have an option to kind of Someone go in there by yourself. Did a number on the Such a mess. This place was and barely in working condition before, and now. Which I kind of want to play that at some point as well, because I love, love that game. There's gotta be something we can do. I'm all ears. Well, look at all this crap. There's gotta be something useful in here, right? Hey, look! Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? That would be a good idea, but we got other problems. Very friendly. Unfollow. <sighs> Did she really just say that? <laughs> There's a painting here, but um, hmm. or maybe it's this one over here. There we go. Looks like there's gotta be something. Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Look, well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio! Okay, so we have a choice here. Agree, we need that radio. Disagree, let's head back. This is actually quite a heavy choice to make. Um, it has a lot of butterfly effects, surprisingly. Um, I always agree because that seems to be the logical thing to do. So we can agree. use the radio to call for help. See, we Somebody's got the gotta pick up the signal. Well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, man. She has a lot of confidence in herself, doesn't she? Oh, hold up. That would be me. <laughs> What's cooking, good looking? Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. does that and goes right into her face like that. It's so weird. Uh, oh. Look at this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. Okay, now is it my turn? And just Thanks. like magic, come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Ah! 
You all right? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um, you should go first to protect me. <laughs> okay. Okay, easy now. How is that going to protect you? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. Do not I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. I guess we'll just okay. <laughs> Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Holy cannoli. Probably wouldn't have said that in reference to that sequence of events, but I'm pretty sure mine would have a lot more cussing. This place is freaky. Okay, another totem. What is it? A guidance totem. Almost got all the guidance totems. I think. Well, no, we don't. <laughs> I thought we did. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna get a flare gun, and we want to give it to Matt. Again, that has a lot of potential butterfly effects to it. What if it doesn't work? What? The radio. It'll work. But okay, if it doesn't, we need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mount. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> It might as well be a pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just gonna give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up, wait it out. It, it'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. Phone. I thought the police like swept the whole area. Well, it looks like they missed this. Nothing else to see? I guess not. Is that a clue? Did that give me a clue? It did. Beth's phone. Beth never went anywhere without her cell phone. That's most of us. She must have passed this way on the night of the disappearance. Well, if you remember, she dropped it. And, yeah, that must have been where it landed. <laughs> Ooh, this is like a really pretty shot, actually. Look at the moon over there. I like it. 
us where you step around here. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Damn, Em. Why are you gonna face and take me shit all the time? out there being creepy okay you have no idea how creepy it is out there Sam that tub does look appealing though She even lit all these candles. It was all romantic for a bath alone. Okay, you know, do you, Sam, do you? Chris? Josh? Oh, for Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. Was that all that that was? It was just the sock? <laughs> did they just leave her one sock? <laughs> Maybe Sam didn't light those candles. She just didn't realize that all those candles had been lit. I don't know. But there's candles and weird balloons with arrows on them. So, doesn't seem good. Once again, the doors are locked. But yay, this one's not. <laughs> place and it's locked doors. <laughs> I wonder if that scared you guys. I admit it made me jump a little bit too. Chris? Mike? Emily? This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. <laughs> Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? No, Sam. It's only just begun, my dear. Can I have my clothes back now, or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the weekend? I've already found that. Towel it is then. You know I gotta try. Cooking something up. <laughs> you guys in here?
I can only imagine how cold this place must be right now. I wonder if I can play that message. No new messages. Nah, it deleted, I guess. Okay. Alright. Well, the arrows are pointing this way. Okay, if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. You're not alone, Sam. It's way too quiet in here, too. How are you guys? Sam, I can smell your fear. Gotcha. No! No! Oh, 
the towel would have fallen off me on multiple occasions by now. I am bad doing that. Keep hiding. Fuck! Keep hiding, Sam. Get captured. Success. Well, that certainly didn't go according to plan. Now, did it? Honestly, I think I've Such always been captured by him. Such careful planning and plotting, so. and yet in a crucial moment, you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you, everything you do has consequences. Do you think this mistake won't have repercussions? What do you do, and what you say, causes things to change. Oh, good bad. work. We did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm-hmm. Your overwhelming fear of failure. You have turned it against these people who use a desperate one to torment. Has it been worth it? We gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a maniac. This is insane. We need to go get some help. Hello? Guys? Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? We should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Why are we still talking about this? Let's go. Hey, look. Fire tower. gone through quite a bit here. Look at the new butterfly effects. So, Sam unharmed hid successfully. Huh. I'm not quite sure why that's in this particular butterfly effect. I didn't realize that would be in there, but okay. Something for later. Sam had the option to use the bat while being chased. And I hit that psycho. It, it went well on that front. <laughs> Run around. Oh, wow. Really? I did? Sam made all the right choices during the chase. That is surprising to me. I am surprised at that. I really thought I um, screwed up several times, but hey, I'm glad I made it. 
All right, well, I think I'll close it for that segment. We got pretty far in the game, so next time in part 10, we'll be heading to that infamous fire tower with Emily and Matt. So thank you guys for watching. Everybody is still alive except for Josh. <laughs> so we're doing we're doing relatively well. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.